Let's talk about London in the US. There are quite a few things that are different here in London than in the US, which I think some of you might be quite surprised by. Here's what you can expect when you come to visit. One of the more obvious ones is that everybody drives on the other side of the road than we're used to. Thank God for those signs down on the pavement that say look left and look right so you don't get hit by a car. When you're in a restaurant in London, at the end of your meal, when you're done eating, instead of just leaving your plate there and waiting for the waitress to ask if you're finished, you're supposed to put your fork and knife together in the middle of the plate like this and that lets the service staff know that you are done and you want your plate taken away. Londoners are really big on getting rounds of drinks when it comes to the pub or at the bar. So instead of everyone going up and getting their own drink on their own, you'll form a little bit of a group and everybody will get a round, which makes things easier except for when there's five people in the group and there's five rounds to go around and you're now five wines deep on a Tuesday evening. I wouldn't say that Londoners are particularly unfriendly. However, unlike Americans who are very used to always being friendly and speaking to anybody that they meet anywhere, Londoners keep to themselves. So this is especially true on public transportation. You will barely ever speak to anybody or even make eye contact. Everyone's very quiet and keeps them to themselves. It's customary for Londoners to take their kids and their pets into the pub during the day. So if you go in for a pub lunch on a Sunday, you'll probably see tons of little kids and dogs running around. Something we're not used to in the States is actually having good food at a place that you can also get good drinks. There are many, many pubs around London and the UK that actually have really amazing food for lunch and dinner. So if you find a nice one, why not just have some lunch? The trick is that you'll probably have to order at the bar. So take a menu, pick what you want and order everything at the bar and pay there as well. Because it doesn't usually get very hot here, there are a lot of places in London that don't have air conditioning or air con as they call it. For example, probably most of the Airbnbs that you might rent out won't have air con. The flat I live in doesn't have it. I do decent amount of restaurants and bars will have it just because it can get really hot with so many people in there. But don't come here expecting to have cool air everywhere you go. Tax on items that you purchase is included in the price of the item. I love this bit. I And I forget every time I go back to the US that there's tax added onto the price that's on the price tag. It's not like that here. So if it says this pair of shoes you want is 19 pounds, you are going to pay only 19 pounds. Here in the UK, cheese as dessert is very popular. My husband loves it. So you'll often see on the dessert menu at a restaurant that there's a cheese platter that you can select from. If you're a big cheese lover, why not go for it and try some of the English cheeses that they probably have on it. Every time I go back to the US, I am reminded how much Americans will wear sweatpants and pajamas out in public, which is not a thing here. Do not do that here in London. You will look like a weirdo. Also, when you go to a restaurant, you may notice that the portion sizes here are a lot smaller than in the US. That's because portions are ridiculously sized in the US. So when you come here to London, don't expect huge plates of everything that you order. You're gonna have smaller meals, which is actually really good for your waistline. And finally, the drinking age here is 18. So even if you're not legal in the US, you could be legal here, which means you can go to any of the bars or pubs and order yourself a drink. Once in a while, bars and pubs will say that you have to be 21 or 25 to get in, but it's only because they want a bit of an older crowd. But hey, you can even go into the supermarket and pick up a beer if you like. What other cultural differences have you heard about the UK and the US? Let me know down in the comments below. Some might be true and some might be false, so I'll clear those up for you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new videos about London every Thursday, and I will see you next week.